Hi children, let us learn now how to do subtraction word problems. Okay, subtraction word problems. Word problems. Now, I'll write out the problem for you. In subtraction, your total will be given. And then something else will be given. Then you need to find out the rest. So, even in subtraction word problem, there are three statements. Total number and the number of something and the what is left over remaining. Okay. Now, I have a problem here. I am going to write out the problem for you. Alright. There are. First problem is. There are. There are. 347. Flowers. In a garden. In a garden, 347 flowers. Now, 223 are red flowers. Your question is, question, 323 are red flowers, rest yellow, and rest yellow. Your question is, how many yellow flowers are there in the garden? The question is, how many, how many yellow Plus, how many yellow flowers are there in, in the garden? That's your question. How many? Okay. So, first you got to prepare. You're going to write down. The sum first, whatever you write, the numbers has to be in order so that we do not make a mistake. You have hundreds, tens, and one. That's the first thing you will prepare. Hundreds, tens, and ones. So we have prepared our subtraction box. Now, Next, we are going to write here. How many yellow flowers are there in the How many left? How many? In a garden, you have lots of flowers. Some are red. The rest are yellow. So, we are going to find out the number of yellow flowers in the garden. Now, what is the first statement? There are 347 flowers in a garden. So, what will you write? Number of flowers or Total number of flowers in the garden. Total number of flowers in the garden. That's what we are going to write first. Total. In subtraction, total is given. Total number of flowers in a garden. We are writing the total number of flowers in a garden. What is the total number of flowers? It says 347. 347. 
7. Now, what is the next statement? 223 are red flowers. So what will you write? Number of red flowers. Very good. Number of red flowers. What is the number of red flowers? 223. 223. Now, we are going to find out the rest are yellow, so 327 minus, the sign, minus sign should be there, alright? The minus sign got to be there, alright? Now what is asked, what is the question? How many yellow flowers are there in the garden? Total number of flowers in the garden, 347. Number of red flowers, 223. The next is therefore number of number of yellow flowers. Therefore, number of yellow flowers. Now that is three hundred and forty seven minus two hundred and twenty three. You got to write that. Then only you know, oh, I have understood, this is how it is. Okay? Three words. Now, now we are going to find the answer. Your answer is, how many yellow flowers? Now, total number of flowers in a garden, 347. Number of red flowers, 223. Therefore, number of yellow flowers. Now, we are going to find out the number of yellow flowers. Ones, tens, hundred. In the ones place you have seven. Take away three. Seven. Take away three is four. Seven take away three is four. In the tens place you have four. Take away two. Four take away two is two itself. Four take away two is two. And finally three. 3 take away 1 is 1. So what is your answer? Your answer is 124 yellow flowers. 124 yellow flowers. You got the answer? 124 yellow flowers. Now shall I give you another sum? Yes. Now. Now the next sum is, there are if there are if there are seven hundred and twenty six boxes of vegetables seven hundred and twenty six box of vegetables in a lorry lorry and four hundred and five four hundred and five boxes are Carrots. 405 boxes are carrots and the rest beetroots. And the rest, the rest are beetroot. The question is how many boxes of, how many, how many? 
boxes of beetroots are there in the lorry in the that's a question now there are 726 boxes of vegetables in a lorry of which 400 are boxes are carrots and the rest are beetroot. Now we are asked to find out how many boxes of beetroots are there in the lorry. First, we prepare the table. Place to write. 100. Place the numbers correctly. That should be a first criteria. Place the numbers correctly. So we have here ready. Now, now we look at what is the statement that we are going to write here. If there are 726 boxes of vegetables. So what will be the statement? Huh? The statement will be total number of boxes of vegetables. Total number. Total number of boxes of vegetables. What is the total number of boxes of vegetables? 726. 700 to tens, six ones. 726 boxes of vegetables. Okay, what is the next statement? 405 boxes are carried. So you'll write number of <coughs> boxes of carrots. <coughs> number of boxes of carrots. What is the number? 405. 405. <coughs> that is minus 405. What the next statement will be? We are asked to find out how many boxes of beetroots are there. Therefore, number of number of boxes of of beetroots. Number of box of beetroot. That's what we are going to find out. Alright? Now that is 726 minus 405. Alright? 726 minus 405. Now what do we do? First, we look at the ones place. Now, in the ones place, we have six ones and five ones. Six ones take away five ones. One. Two tens take away zero tens. Two itself. Seven hundreds take away four hundreds. Three hundreds. So we have three hundred and twenty-one boxes of beetroot. So your answer. What is your answer? Your answer is 321 boxes of beetroots. Boxes of beetroot. Alright? And that's your answer. 321 boxes of beetroot. Now what did we learn? We learn to look at the problem. We learn to see the total number of boxes. Then we learn to look at the number of boxes of carrots. Then the question is, how many boxes of beetroots are there in the lorry? So we minus 726 from 726. We minus number of boxes of carrots. And we got the rest as Boxes of beetroots. 
and we started how did we do the minusing first the ones then the tens then the hundreds 